Hello, and I'm going to do a really quick rendition introduction to a uh, activity that I'm going to be doing this next week. This is for students who aren't in class, uh, so they have some idea what's going on. But the background section here actually describes why we used to, or how we used to determine the ocean depth and how we switched to sonar back in the 1900s, especially for World War II, looking for submarines using a thing called echo sounders. Knowing the speed of water, sound in water, which we discovered back in the 1800s, the 19th century, we are so we were able to come up with technologies to actually utilize that. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at two profiles. We're going to look at a passive profile, the Atlantic Ocean of the United States, and an active profile, the Pacific uh, coastline of the United States. And there's got some information here, including what you're going to use to actually label both of these. Then it's also got another thing about labeling plates and subducting plates. Um, and you, you'll actually use some tectonic information uh, to do this, but just follow the instructions and actually see how wide the Pacific profile is compared to the Atlantic profile, or in the end, how, long, how wide the Pacific Ocean is compared to the Atlantic. You're going to be given two data tables, one for the Atlantic profile, and you notice it's going to be going over for 2,400, and on this side, the Pacific for 240. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to a different program. This is called Smooth Draw, and this allows me to draw. So the activity is called Mapping the Ocean Floor, and we're going to be looking at Atlantic profile data, and notice we have distance from beach in kilometers, we have time to return in seconds. We have distance traveled in uh, meters and as we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it by the speed of sound in water, 1500 meters per second. I know you used 1507 last time but we're going to round it. And then we're going to take half that distance. Now to show this, um, I can either do this new one for 50 kilometers or I can go down and show you how we did this 550 and I really don't care which one um, so I'll let you decide. Okay, I would have actually asked for this first one, but if you really want to do this one, that's fine. So at 500 kilometers away from the beach, they had a signal go down and come back 4.3 seconds. So I'm just going to go 4.3, and I'm going to take that time, and I'm going to multiply it by, did I multiply it? By 1,500, and hopefully I'll come up with 73.50. Let's try that again, because I don't think I did that right. Uh, it's actually 4.9. I did one for you. <laughs> and I'm going to multiply that by 1,500. And I come out with 73.50. And if I divide that one by 2, I get that 36.75. So 550, 36.75. So if I go down to the Atlantic, and 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Looks like I can do that. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 50. And my depth was 3,600. So 3,500, 675. And I'm going to put a dot. And you're going to do that, and then I, what I would like you to do, I think this one starts uh, actually at 50. We're going to go ahead and start this one at zero on this side. And on this side, they actually started at 400, degree, 400 feet up, so it's going to be a little higher. But um, I'm sorry, on this one, it's going to be 400 feet up. It looks like I got a little mess up on the lines there. I hope it didn't show up on yours, that one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... I'd like you to connect those things with a straight line. If you notice, we are going to go down and down and down and down and down and down and then we're going to come back up and then go down a little bit. And this one you're going to see goes down and down and down and down and down. And I can't see it go anymore. In fact, that's as far as it goes, I think. But just drawing smooth lines here, smooth lines here. And then when you get done with that, um, here are the questions you're going to answer, um, preferably uh, on a separate sheet of paper, and then comparing the, the last thing, comparing the two profiles. So make sure that you actually profile them. Make sure you fill in this data table. Uh, make sure you do these three parts, 
I'll make sure you label. And that's it. Hope it works. Bye.